judgment, you're also welcome to try Analyze free for 30 days. Simply go to analyzedirect.com slash evaluate, and then you can request your trial. If you have an idea for a topic for any future webinars, please let us know. We're more than open to suggestions. Uh, you can email us at webinars at analyzedirect.com. And finally, if you have any other questions or comments for me, please feel free to contact me directly. You can contact me by email. I look forward to hearing from you. And thank you for joining us in our today. Hello, and welcome to today's webinar on vascular tree analysis with Analyze 10.0. My name is Amy, and I'm an application specialist here at Analyze Direct. Today's webinar should last for about 30 minutes. And during the webinar, I'm going to discuss different uses for vascular tree analysis. Uh, and then we'll do tree extraction and exploration with the tree analysis module on Analyze. Um, after that, I'll open it up for some questions and answers. The objectives of today's webinar are going to be to provide you with an overview of capabilities that are available in the tree analysis module. I'll also introduce you to potential applications for vascular tree analysis. I will always demonstrate how to use this module on Analyze. So a few housekeeping items before we get started. If you have any questions during the webinar today, please go ahead and type them into the questions box or go to webinar control panel. Uh, we do have specialists standing by to answer any questions you might have, so feel free to use that. Um, and like I said, I'll also be taking time at the end to answer a few questions. Um, a copy of this presentation, some additional documents, and a recording of today's webinar will be posted online tomorrow. Um, you should be receiving an, an email tomorrow with a link to all that content, so be looking out for that. All right, with all that out of the way, let's go ahead and get started. Vascular tree analysis uh, it provides the ability to, to explore vascular networks of structures, um, structures such as the heart, um, the lungs, the kidneys, and the brain. This analysis typically involves the review of, of 3D topology and morphology of the vascular trees. A 3D topology tells us about the structure of the tree and how it branches, and morphology will provide us with information about structural and functional aspects of the tree, like the vessels in the tree. Um, Analyze provides the ability to perform this type of analysis within the tree analysis module. Uh, and with this module, you can extract, explore, and measure the tree structures from, the, from medical imaging data. So vascular tree analysis applications have included uh, coronary artery disease, including the quantification of stenosis or aneurysms, uh, and also neovascularization, um, pulmonary disease, such as a sinus branching geometries, um, also the evaluation of organ damage, which can possibly be related to hypertension. Um, so those are the few of the applications that have been, have been used. With the tree analysis module and analyze, the first step is going to be the tree extraction. Um, this process uses a combination of thresholding and a multi-task thinning algorithm. Um, the thresholding is first used to segment the voxels relating to the vascular tree, and then the thinning algorithm comes through and removes any disconnected noise and thins the tree down to a single voxel-wide medial axis or the center line. And then finally, any branches that don't meet the pruning criteria are going to be removed from the tree skeleton. The extraction process will result in a tree skeleton, and that's going to be broken down into different segments. These segments are defined by bifurcations or splits in the tree. The segment endpoints are going to be given labels, such as branch, mid, and endpoints, to indicate the location on the tree. Um, and the tree skeleton can, can be explored in this tree plot window. Um, the skeleton can be viewed by itself, or a rendering overlay, a maximum intensity projection overlay can be um, also viewed with it. Um, there's also a map of the tree branching structure that can be viewed, as well as an internal endoscopic view of the vessels throughout the tree, or a fly-through movie of the vessels. We'll go ahead and review all this functionality during the demonstration today. So there are several tree measurements that are available from the tree analysis module, including distance from tree points to the tree root, uh, distance between two user-specified tree points, uh, tree branch length, and branching angles of trial branches. Um, there's also the option to generate mini obliques or cross-sectional images of the vessels. Uh, these images are used to make measurements of area and brightness area product. So the area measurement is, is computed from voxels that fall within a circular ROI and have a value that falls within a specified threshold range. Uh, there's also a half-max option that can be used to make the, the area measurement more adaptive to variations in the vessel size. Um, another measurement that's provided by Analyze is the brightness area product. And we'll go into that a little bit more here. 
So the brightness of any product can be a useful measurement um, because it can compensate for noise in the volume or, or partial volume effect. And it's also been shown to provide an index related to room size. Um, this brightness of any product is calculated from the sum of voxel values above a given threshold range that fall within a circular ROI. All right, so let's go ahead and begin the demonstration. So you can see I've already loaded the coronary CT data set into Analyze here. The first thing we're going to do is open up the tree analysis module. What we'll do once in the tree analysis module is open up the slice slider. And we're going to just find a slice that shows us um, the vessels pretty clearly so that we can have a look at them. So that looks good. So we'll open up this generate tree um, window here. This is going to give us options for um, setting a threshold range so that we can segment those vessels. So that looks good. We can clearly see the vessels displayed here. And these options here, these are the pruning options we were discussing. Um, the shortest skeleton branch specifies the minimum length of the branch in the skeleton. So anything shorter than this is going to be pruned from the tree. And then these tree length max man options um, specify the length of the segmented skeleton. So basically anything larger or smaller than these set lengths will also be discarded. And here we have the approximate root length. This is going to allow you to um, set a root short of the tree, essentially, and you can set that either here in this 2D window, or you can set it interactively later as well, uh, once the tree has been generated. So we'll leave all of these at the default and click this Generate Tree button. What that's going to do, it'll first run the, the segmentation of the vessels by using the threshold, and then that multi-pass thinning algorithm is going to run, and it'll um, knock the tree down to that single voxel-wide medial axis. So here's the tree plot window. And we have the option to turn on several different views here. This can be very useful when um, editing a tree um, to, in order to get some, some context as to where this tree is in, rel in relation to that 3D volume. We'll turn on this render option. So now you can see that that rendering gives you a little bit better context here. Turn those off and zoom in a bit here. So under this action menu, we've got a few options. We can select the rotate. We just let you move this around a bit. Now, depending on the structure that you've um, segmented, occasionally several trees can be generated. Um, in this case, there have been two trees generated. Um, so you can see by selecting the different trees, they'll show you um, on the rendering here. So go ahead and turn that rendering off. Now, uh, to get a better view, I'm going to zoom in a bit on this root and surrounding branching structures. And to get a better understanding of these branching structures and the hierarchical uh, branching structures of this, we're going to turn on this map option, which will give us this tree map window. Um, this, this displays a simple branching level view of the tree that's displayed. Um, currently, we have tree 2 displayed, so if we select tree 1, then the tree map window will update. Here we have this yellow node, which represents the root of the tree. Um, we have these blue nodes, which represent the mid and, and branch points, and we've also got these red nodes, which represent the endpoints. So selecting these different nodes will um, highlight the corresponding segment on the tree plot window here. So that we can get some context of what we're looking at exactly.